Hello everybody, I'm Daddy. And I'm Sophia. Uh, we're back. Uh, first of all, we want to thank everybody for watching the last video, those of you who did happen to catch it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're back with a new project. We're actually going to try something different, something a little, uh, a little more difficult, uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try and make a personalized glittered tumbler. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to uh, make it all pretty, see what we can do with it. Uh, we're going to show you step by step how to do it. This is our first time doing it, so... This channel just turned into a craft channel. Yeah, I know. DIY stuff. DIY crafting. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a shot and see what it comes out to be. Uh, hopefully you like it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started now. Yeah. So first step. <laughs> All right. So uh, the first step, like Sophia said. Um, actually, um, let me show you what I got here. Uh, this is just a regular insulated cup that I got from, uh, from Walmart. Uh, I went ahead and washed it um, just to get off any uh, any Germs. anything that would keep the uh, the Mod Podge that we're going to use as an adhesive uh, to keep that from sticking. Anyway, so I just washed that off, made it clean. Or oh, germs. Too. Germs too. Germs are bad. Um, actually, what else? Well, the first thing, let's get started. Take the lid off. Get some tape. Got some regular tape. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place some, uh, some, I just got some regular, what is this? Tape. Just, just regular, regular tape. tape. And I am going to... Place them around the upper edge of the cup. That way the lid sits correctly. So, basically if uh, we put glitter on here on the edges, um, this lid is not going to sit right, so we need for it to be free and clear of any glitter or glue uh, up here. So, just going to put some tape on up here, just to give it that little bit of, uh, of clearance up on top. Yes. Right, Sophie? Oh, George is back. George is going to be in half of our videos, probably all of them. I think he's going to be a fixture in our videos from now on. He's winning. His team is winning. They not are. Like, They're winning right now. Not like last time. Ugh. Oh, I know. We I'm already went mad. through or over this that they lost the game that we went to. Look at his face. He's not mad. <laughs> so we're going to use uh, a spongy. So we're going to use one of these uh, little uh, spongy things here. So you want to try as hard as you can to make it as smooth as possible. That way you don't get any clumps of glitter adhering to the cup. Because once it sticks, it sticks. Right, so? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's okay. Watching. So this is what you should end up with. Uh, evenly coated uh, cup. Uh, make sure you, uh, you don't have any bare spots, that way uh, all the glitter can adhere uh, the way it's supposed to. So, evenly coated, uh, no clumps of uh, Mod Podge or glue. I'll just call it glue. It's easy to say glue, right? Yeah. All right. It's easy to say, and you won't forget it, because that you never heard of, probably. Oh, yes, my favorite. So, here is the fun part. Uh, go That's ahead why and, I wanted to do this. We're going to go ahead and uh, just pour glitter all over the place. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, sprinkle some uh, some glitter on here. So I'll start off first and then she can finish it off. Oh yes! Looks like candy. You want to make sure it's an even coat, make sure you get as much of the glitter onto the glue as you can. Oh, yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Uh, Don't be scared. Ain't nothing going to happen. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Crazy with the glitter? George turn. George turn. George's turn. Look at the mess you made, George. This looks cool, huh? This is a cool color. And you're welcome for finding it. Mm-hmm. Sophia mm -hmm. actually picked this color. Yeah. You're going to have a couple of uh, spots that you might want to go over, but this is why we do the second, uh, the second coat. So we're going to go ahead and let this dry, and then we will pick up and do this again. Alright, we're back guys. Uh, we went ahead and let the uh, the uh, Mod Podge and the glitter dry for about a good uh, 20 minutes. Uh, it's uh, pretty dry now. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is actually Sophia is going to help me wipe off the excess glitter. Uh, let me just show you how to do this. So just uh, a, a nice... You can tell it's dry already. Yeah. Uh, just a nice, not so harsh um, brushing. Just just like that. I'm going to wipe off whatever didn't stick, and we're going to do this process all over again. So the point is that we're going to go ahead and put on at least uh, two, at least two uh, layers, and uh, that way we get a, a good, nice coat. So not so hard, not, uh, not too soft, just, just enough. Perfect. Go all around. Good, good. Yes. Alright, let's do one right there. Good. Down under. And you can oh. tell it's drying already. It's so. Dry. so now we're going to do the same thing. Second layer of. A second layer of um, the, the adhesive. Glue thing. Uh, right? <laughs> and then a second layer yeah. of glitter. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. Oh, that's too much. That's why I dipped it in a little. Oh, oh that's harder. With the glitter on top. It is a little harder with the glitter on this time. Okay, so we went ahead and put a, a second coat of uh, Mod Podge on uh, on the cup. Um, so it's going to look a little something like this. So now is the fun part again, and we're going to have Sophia help us out with putting some more glitter on the cup. So just the same way as we did the first time, we're going to sprinkle. Okay, we're back guys. Uh, we actually let the second coat uh, dry for about a little longer than the first. We went about 30-40 uh, minutes only because it was a thicker coat than the first. Uh, but it seems to be dry now. Um, we're going to have uh, Sophia brush off the excess just like we did the first time. Uh, just light strokes. Uh, not too much pressure. We're just going to take off uh, the, uh, the glitter that just uh, didn't stick. So nothing too hard. Uh, just uh, nice and gentle. Nice and slow. I do have a little imperfection here. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix in a bit, but uh, other than that, it looks it looks decent. It looks okay, considering it's our first time, right? And we didn't even test this out to see if it'll work. No, we didn't. Uh, usually, like, whenever we make uh, YouTube videos, we do like last time a like, test run. Yeah, like last time, the Fourth of July. And yeah. The, we also did it on the slime. Uh huh. But this one. Yeah, we'll usually do a test run just to, to make sure that uh, that we know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, off, cam off camera, Sophia and I went ahead and put a, uh, the last layer of uh, Mod Podge, Mod Podge um, so that we can put the last layer of uh, glitter on here. So basically, you know, it's the same thing that we already did uh, twice. So this is the third time. We didn't want to bore you watching us do the same thing for a third time. So we did it off camera. Sophie helped me and uh, nice even strokes, nice even uh, coating. Uh, remember, like I mentioned uh, a little while ago, if you leave clumps of glue on the cup, what's going to happen? You're going to see the clump of glitter. of glitter on it. Yeah, so you just got to smooth it out as much as you can. So this is pretty much as much as we can smooth everything out. So, Sophie's favorite part. 
Right, so. Yeah, we have two of these. We'll have it. Oh, yeah, it's over there. All right, so we're gonna yeah. put the last la <coughs> layer of uh, glitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, That's pretty cool, huh? Wow! I didn't think it would turn out that good. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but. Uh, oh, it's lighter for them. Yeah, it's lighter. Camera's not focusing in on it. Focus. But it's very uh, evenly coated. There aren't that many imperfections. I'm glad I went the third <laughs> coat. It's better than the olive oil. Yeah. Accessible. Now it looks like something, something nice. Finally. So I guess, like I said, we were, uh, we hadn't done this before. We're learning uh, as we go, just like you guys go a third coat, right? Yeah. Just to be on the safe side. We did good. Oh my God! Look at your hand. I got glitter. You know, I have glitter on my face. I had glue over here a little while ago. I just took ago. a picture to let him know that I wasn't lying. Yeah, she showed me that I had some <laughs> Oh, now you have more. Glue. <laughs> I keep touching my face. <laughs> she keeps cut, touching his face with his glittering hands. So, well, this is it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let this rest, let this dry, and we'll pick up uh, tomorrow. It's the next day, and now we're going to finish the next step. Uh, we're just going to remove the excess glitter. So I'm going to let uh, Sophia go ahead and do that. Then just like the other times, we're just going to go just like this all the way around. Make sure we take all of the excess off. Okay, so our next step after uh, removing the excess glitter, uh, we are going to apply our very first layer of um, epoxy. So uh, the one that I found, or the one that I bought, was uh, it's called uh, Alumilite, Alumilite, and I got this on Michael's website. Uh, this is a two-part resin, and we actually have to get this mixed. Right, Sophie? Yes. Can Sophia do this on her own? No. Why? Uh, what do we need? An adult oh, yeah. to help us, right? So let's get everything out first. So we have uh, this bottle and this bottle. And little measuring cups. And a stick. And a stir stick. So that's what comes in the box. I'll just move this over here real quick. Just so you guys can see what comes in it. Uh, it's, uh, the instructions are fairly simple. Um, step one says to measure equal amounts. Uh, mix thoroughly and pour slowly. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, the same amount of... Uh, the A bottle that you measure out with these cups is what you're going to use the same exact amount of the B bottle. Uh, so uh, we'll get that uh, going right now. It's really important that you guys use uh, gloves. Sophia has her gloves on. Uh, this is uh, a resin and it will dry and it dries hard. So just for safety, keep it off of ourselves. We're going to use some gloves. So we're just going to mix uh, equal parts of uh, each bottle into a disposable cup. This is our stir stick. So I think for uh, about this size of cup, I'm going to use 15 milliliters. And it is measured, or these little cups are marked right here. Uh, you can measure in uh, 15, um, I'm sorry, 5 milliliter increments. So we'll do 15 milliliters of each bottle. Alright, so that's 15 milliliters of the A bottle. Notice there's two cups. You want to use one cup for each bottle. Same thing, using the second cup, now we're going to pour bottle B. We're going to get 15 milliliters equal parts. We now have 15 milliliters of bottle A and bottle B in each cup. And we are going to pour it into, this is just a regular uh, disposable cup. So 15 milliliters of this one. Now 15 milliliters of this one. The secret to this, or the trick to this, is to mix it very slowly. The whole point of that is to avoid making any air bubbles in the mixture. 
If you mix too fast or too hard, you will make air bubbles in your epoxy. So when you apply this epoxy with air bubbles in it, you're going to get air bubbles on your cup. I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, right now it's a cloudy. Uh, the mixture is, uh, is a little bit cloudy, so you want to keep mixing until it's entirely clear. Um, probably a couple of minutes. Remember, mix slowly to avoid any air bubbles. All right, so we're going to take our epoxy now. Be really careful. Give it uh, one last good mix. And we are just going to oh, apply this. God. So basically, all you really want to do is uh, get your first layer of epoxy everywhere that you can possibly get it. You want to help me? You know, as you can imagine, it's going to be impossible not to make a mess, so... What do you think? Whoa! Uh, another reason that these uh, cup spinners are so important to have is because... The rotation of the cup is going to help spread the epoxy out evenly. If you can, uh, if you can imagine that. All right. So next, we're going to take. Uh, this is actually an embossing gun. It's just a. It just blows heated air. Is all it does. So what uh, this uh, heated air does is that it pops the little bubbles. I wish uh, you guys could see. The little bubbles that I'm talking about. It's almost impossible because they're so small, but they are there. Oh, I Did see. Did you them. see them? Yeah. Yeah. They're super tiny. So, in order to get rid of those bubbles, heat will um, pop them, will remove them. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Oh. Very nice. Well, like I said, this just blows heated air. That's all it is. Let's wait for this to warm up a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to go a uh, nice even stroke. So you don't want to stay in one spot, one specific spot for too long because it will affect the uh, the resin since it is, is it, it is still wet. You leave it on for too long in one spot, it'll make a, the air will blow a, uh, a dent into some of the resin. So you just want to go. They're going away. I can see it, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, finished uh, a quick pass. I didn't spend too much time on the uh, with the embossing gun, with the heat. Uh, maybe about a minute or so. You don't want to spend too much time on it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to let uh, this uh, cup dry. We're going to give it a few hours. So, uh, Oh, and another thing, we're going to let... Uh, we're going to leave it spinning on this uh, cup spinner. Uh, let the... Uh, epoxy settle naturally and this uh, spin like I mentioned earlier this spinning motion is going to keep it smooth okay guys we're back <laughs> alright we went ahead and let the uh, the cup dry uh, overnight um, and it's uh, the next uh, afternoon so it actually had a, a good uh, probably a good 24 hours to dry uh, this is the first coat all right, so this is what we're left with now. Uh, it's a nice, shiny, um, extremely transparent coating uh, of that resin that we uh, applied to it. Uh, the one thing uh, that I actually did do off camera, I went ahead and removed the uh, tape uh, before the resin dried that was up here that we had applied. To be entirely honest, next time I do this, uh, I don't think I'm going to put this tape here. Uh, it was a little hard to take off, and then I had to even out the... Uh, the the glitter here so uh, I tried to make it as straight as possible uh, this line right here that you're seeing so next time honestly I don't think I'd do that again I think I'd just go straight 
uh, all the way up to the top with the Mod Podge and the glitter. Uh, so next cup we make, there will not be a lip. I do not recommend it. Uh, just if you are going to go ahead and try it the way that we did it, just uh, glitter all the way through. Uh, we are going to have to sand this down. This is the next step. I went ahead and purchased uh, some uh, 400 grit sandpaper and we are actually going to wet sand uh, this cup and smooth it out as much as we can, take out uh, as many imperfections as we can. So this is what I, I am going to use um, and it's recommended that you do use a three or four hundred uh, grit. Uh, so we have a sheet of uh, sandpaper here and uh, like I mentioned this is going to be a wet sand, regular water. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dip this here inside, oh my. get this wet a little bit. And we're just going to sand. Uh, the, the gloss is going to fade and we are going to be left with a uh, dull finish. Uh, but we are going to go over this again with a second coat of epoxy and the shine, the gloss, will uh, return with that second coat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. Uh, we're just going to go smooth everything out as much as we can. That's all we're going to do. Uh, with uh, every uh, couple of passes we're just going to dip our sandpaper in some water and just go at it smooth it out as much as you can uh, just do keep in mind um, this is a thin layer of epoxy do not over sand this because you will run through the epoxy and into the glitter and then you're gonna uh, run into a whole new set of problems with that so uh, just with a couple of passes I can already feel just feel it Sophie those little bumps they're kind of starting to go away, uh, away already. Yeah. So it's not going to take much. So uh, don't overdo it. You will ruin it. <laughs> and you will have some imperfections. So uh, just like this. A few passes. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. Sophie's going to help me. And we will get back to you. Hey! Hey! <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we went ahead and uh, sanded this down. Um, it's a whole lot smoother now. Uh, the luster did go away, uh, but like I mentioned, uh, we are going to uh, decorate our cup now, and then we're going to place another layer of, uh, of resin on it, so that shine will come back with that second um, coat. So this is actually the fun part now. All right. So uh, this is where you can get as crazy or as uh, creative as you want. Um, this is a this is the time to actually personalize your cup if you want to. If you wanted to just leave it like this, uh, this uh, this color, um, the next step that you would do is uh, just place another coat of uh, resin, just like we showed you a while ago, and let that dry, and you're done. In our case, we're going to personalize this um, with Sophia's name on it. Uh, also, we're going to place a couple of stickers. You can go crazy. You can, decor you can decorate your cup however you like. This is yours. You can do whatever. So, well, now we have a, a, a pretty smooth surface. What we're going to do next, Sophia and I are going to place these uh, stickers, spell out her name, uh, any which way you like. Uh, if you're from Texas, you know Bucky's. Uh, this is a uh, sticker that I bought for her uh, this past weekend at Bucky's uh, here in Texas, and we're going to place this also. So we'll probably do Bucky's on this side, and uh, the uh, her name spelled out with these letterings on the opposite side. We're done, you guys. So we have a Bucky sticker right here, my name, and in the back, of course, a JoJo Siwa. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we went ahead and placed all of our decals next step uh, we have to seal all of these stickers in with one last coat of epoxy same exact way that we did this first time we're going to do the exact same thing again you always want to make sure that this is level it looks pretty level there to me what do you think I don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you are honest and just remember equal parts of bottle A and equal parts uh, or equal parts of bottle A and B don't forget the bottom
Again, bro? Sorry. <laughs> he elbowed me again. It's not my elbow hitting you. Your face is hitting my elbow. <laughs> There's a difference. Oh. So I think we're done here. What do you think, Soph? No, I just hear it. Oh, my. Okay, so we're going to let this uh, keep turning uh, for probably a few hours, um, and then it'll cure overnight. So we might even let it uh, keep spinning all night long. So uh, we'll call it a day and uh, let this uh, dry up a little bit, and then we'll come back and see what we have uh, tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we finally have a finished product. Uh, I'm uh, pretty happy with the way it came out. I think Sophia is too. Are you? Like, <laughs> she did already use this like five times. <laughs> so I the guess, best. So I guess she's okay with it. Uh, but uh, try and get a close up. Um, I'm happy with it. It's just focusing on your. It's head. focusing on my on my face and not the cup. But uh, we'll try and get some close up uh, photos. Uh, but this is it. Um, it's a nice smooth finish. A nice clear hard um, finish the acrylic finish and it looks good I, I really like the colors that Sophia picked and uh, it's nice uh, I'll take some still photos of it and uh, include those just so that you can get a better a better picture of it um, but all around it came out uh, pretty well and if Sophia's happy with it then I'm happy with it uh, we did learn some things along the way and hopefully we uh, we, we taught you guys a thing or two too uh, but uh, this is it uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking with us. And, uh, yeah. oh, like, subscribe, and what else? Thumbs up? <laughs> oh, that's part of like, right? Oh, Are you yes, going to say anything yeah, yes, or what, is. dude? The <laughs> battery's about to die. I'd say it quick if I were you. Yeah. No, no, it's the same thing. All right. The same thing. All right. So like, subscribe, and thank you for watching, and uh, just... Keep looking out for our videos, and uh, hopefully we'll put one out soon. I think we have an idea for our next one already, right? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. Bye.